Hello everyone, thanks for joining me for the fourth question of the math teacher test. And here we're not allowed a calculator. So we're gonna have to review the concepts in step one. I encourage you to watch the videos. They're, they're placed in order that I thought made sense to review. And remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to see all the videos. And then now the second step to this question is once we have an idea of how to add numbers and what it means for like a place value. So for example, 7,000, the thousands are one, two, three places. So let's say you have one and then whatever, any number here, then this, this one is thousand, this one is a hundred and then tens and then units, right? So there's there's a few ways we can think about this but one way i i will do is i'll add these numbers because we're supposed to add them so three times one million six zeros is one million three is one thousand so we have three times a million so that's three million and then two times ten thousand so that's in the fourth place decimal place right so it's here so that would be thousand so this one is ten thousand this one is a hundred thousand so we have two times ten thousand so we have twenty thousands two zero and then thousands three zeros is thousands and seven thousand so that's seven and then three zeros then nine hundred so nine and two zeros sixty so six and one zero and then eight so you can kind of see the pattern of this addition right now, but we could go down the columns and do eight, six, it's all zero, so it's easy, right? And then we have seven, two, zero, three. And right there, we can see that we have three, uh, three, and then a zero. So we there's only one that's followed by zero, so we know it is B right away. So that's method number one method number one and if we do method number two would be to just look at the answers so i what i like to do it we're kind of in the building intuition but this is more of a test taking skill here so what we're doing is we have three times a million we can eliminate just by looking at the three times a million which one is in million. So we can eliminate A, right? And then would this one is two times 10,000. So which one has a two in the 10,000 spot? This one doesn't, this one doesn't, this one does. So right there we end up with B right away. So I'll call this one elimination, elimination or common sense approach. And if you want to review and build your intuition a little deeper, you can watch the videos in step three.